Hey everybody, let's do something uh, different today. I've got here uh, Lenny Tristano exercises as related by Warren Marsh. Mm -mm. This is the pinnacle of music education. So uh, the training here is just gaining control of uh, a motive, a musical motive, could be anything really, could be repeated notes, different notes, but we'll just keep it uh, simple for now. And the example here in the these exercises, speaking a uh, motive like 3 one, two, one in C so that's 3 1 2 1 in functional notation right so it's if it's a 3 in C major that would be E and the 1 is just C and the 2 is D and the 1 is C again so it's just this and then you could move this diatonically or chromatically yeah chromatically it would be easiest on the guitar then you just go There's very little uh, educational value in that. I think it's better to use it on a scale. So let's use this 3 1 2 1 in a C harmonic minor. So instead of E, it would now be E flat. But the motive is still the same. But now we move it up uh, diatonically in a C harmonic minor, and it would be. started up an octave now let me see if I can explain this in a simple terms you just go slow but as if you're playing fast play slow but with the technique as if you're playing fast. So if I'm playing fast like this, picking with this motion, and I'm playing slow with this, then I'm using two different techniques, right? I want to keep the th technique the same no matter what we do. It's a fairly slow tempo. You could use this in just eighth notes. Uh, swing eights
think I'm playing a little bit bad ahead of the beat. Okay, that was better. Because now I didn't hear the click. If you don't hear the click, that means you're playing over it. Obviously. But then you know you're on time. On the beat. It's a cool shredding scale. You could just keep going for an hour. I don't think we're gonna do that now. We'll just stick with this uh, slow playing, slow practicing. Can I play even more behind the beat? Uh, That's it for the harmonic minor uh, part. You could, of course, uh, use it on different string sets. Now I was doing this. I was doing the A string. Could go on two strings as well. It's the same as. But it's kind of hard to play it like this. Function. It's a cool scale. These minor thir thirds. Yeah, and one thing I like to do with this type of practice is is uh, doing it over uh, an unfamiliar scale or a symmetrical scale because then it's easy to get lost while playing on a single string that sounds kind of weird right getting lost on just one single string uh, let me see if I can explain if we do the same theme our motive but now we'll do it in a diminished scale that's gonna ruin our day for sure let's use E diminished So we still start on the third degree, but there's a flat two. So the theme motif would be now it repeats. So that's what I mean about getting lost on a single string. 
because it's symmetrical. It keeps repeating. That's the challenge. So this it's the same just moved up it's the same as this right but here's the 13th and this is the 3 no this is the sharp 9 or flat 3 Then I could do the same, the same motif, but in a different scale, which happens to be symmetrical. That's, uh, I think that's it for the practice diary today. I'll uh, do do more of these uh, at a later point.